Yo, yo, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. It is about that time to get ready for the BFL on the Potomac. I'm heading down to the Potomac currently. I'll get about two, two and a half days of practice in. And we're going to be doing a little videoing down there while we're at it. Coming up. Um, so I always look forward to the first BFL of the year. This would be, I think, my third year that I'm going to fish, try to fish all the BFLs um, for the Northeast Division. It's a pretty good schedule. Uh, we start on the Potomac this Saturday. Then in May, uh, we'll be on the Chesapeake. And then I believe it's Oneida, and Champlain, and Thousand Islands. So it's a pretty cool schedule. Spread out quite a bit. And it's just a fun, fun little tournament to fish. I try not to get too crazy about it. But I do take it serious enough that I'll be able to put a little time in come close to winning a few in the past and um, yeah I've never won a BFL so that would be cool as well I'm not gonna complain though we'll take it as it is I suspect that the fish are gonna be pre-spawn and spawn so today right now I'm looking at 61 degrees but tomorrow's gonna be in the 80s as well as Friday and a lot of the fish already moved up and ready to go so it's just it's gonna be pretty much the same scenario as I ran into last year and I suspect the area I fished last year is going to be probably where I'll be spending most of my time I'm gonna to try to hit some new stuff in practice but this time of year it's all about community holes springtime areas and just grinding it out with the other 20, 30 boats that are in that zone and hopefully doing something a little bit different and sticking to the area because those fish can turn on any moment. I'm not a running gun type of guy on tidal water. I just don't like it. I like to kind of stake out a few areas and get in the zone. So, swim jig. Be swimming the jig quite a bit. I'm going to be throwing a chatter bait, and I'm also going to be drop shotting. As of right now, that's probably going to be the deal for me. i got a couple key baits for drop shotting that I love to use on tidal water, so I'll be rotating those baits, be checking out some marinas, seeing if they are ready to go, if they are on beds or not, the big females are up. I'm not sure. I heard the grass is good. I haven't been there since this past fall, so we shall see. I bet you there's 20 pounds of fish right there. Oh, I know there is. The old Susquehanna. Potomac River's about a little under three hours two hours 45 minutes or so it's not a terribly long drive but 95 can be a nightmare so I was actually gonna leave real early tomorrow morning but I got antsy I uh, left around noon hopefully I'll miss all the uh, rush hour and I might just get a few hours on the water this afternoon All right, guys, we are on the water. About 3.30, got a little bit of time. High tide right now. Water temp is uh, mid 60s, it looks like. Got him. Good one. Oh, 
Not bad. Three. It's a good sign. Real good sign. All right, so practice told me not much. I only had a couple hours. Caught a couple fish. Lost a real good one. Uh, I mean, that's a good area to go to if I don't find anything else. That could be a spot. But I don't expect to have to go there come tournament day. Uh, we still got two more days, so we're going to head back to the hotel. Uh, it's a sketchy one. Anything can happen tonight at the Super 8 in Waldorf. Uh, but Matt's going to join us. He's rooming with me. All right, guys, we've made it to the Super 8. And... Matt's in the house, and yo, yo. we have no smoke detector. That's the first thing he looked at. So again, so you do like a a pretty thorough check of a room, right? When you stay in a Super 8 in Waldorf, Maryland, where I said we shouldn't stay, yeah, I do. Yeah, it's bad. Look at the stains on the carpet. Uh, cigarette. And then we got uh, blood here. Cigarette burns and the. Yeah, where's that? Look at this. Jack must have been in here. <laughs> Looks like his his uh, carpet to his boat. Wow. Okay. Uh, did we check under the bed yet? We should. All right. Let's see if we. None of this is staged either. You can't make this shit up. Uh, let's see. We get the light. Oh Jesus! <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, uh, it looks like a Corvette. And some kind of thing you get from McDonald's. Here, bring that stuff out. Well, you can reach on under oh, here. Oh, man. I'm laying on this thing. Ugh. Oh, we got some toy cars. <laughs> oh, it's a Porsche. Oh, look at this. There's a, a good grow. It drives a, itself. A good, good to grow. Hold on a minute. Oh. What do you got? Oh, nice. Okay. Travis has left his sippy cup in here. Um, is there anything under here? No. No, you got nothing. Oh, I got uh, a frame. Okay. Can we even get a Bible? Yeah, there's one right here. One the the freaking place might burn down. We get a Bible in here. Um, smells good. Yeah. Oh wait, piss. <laughs> Ceiling's all right. <laughs> Seriously, that smells like green beans. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what the hell? Leave it to Travis. Can't spend hey, an extra twenty bucks. It's fifty-five dollars a night, man. Can't spend an extra. 20 I didn't even bucks. get my food stamps this week, so. Right. How about this deflated pillow? Looks, looks like the fish Travis catches. That's pretty skinny. Long, long and skinny. <laughs> oh, God. How are you? Nice pictures, though. Yeah, they are. Okay. That's enough. All right, guys. We're going to have some on-the-water footage of practice. I had a decent half a day today, two hours. Um, not going to be posting that until after the event. Because I'm really on to something big. <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, yeah, it's Smallmouth Crush, YouTube. In case you're wondering. We're gonna, still wondering what the hell is on the wall. We're going to put this on uh, Facebook I tonight. Barbecue sauce. I don't know. Huh. We got some toy cars at least. Here we are. Last day of practice. And it's been tough. So I didn't do a lot of footage of uh, day one practice. I plan on doing some better footage today. We're going to get on them, right, Matt? Yeah. Do you ever have a feeling 
You overthink. No, but I do need some really small finesse worms if you have any. Um, <sighs> Here's about, the deal. How about you turn that off and you put the camera over here facing that way because all you're going to see is... The is this a better angle? <laughs> Does this make me look more beautiful? Alright guys, we're uh, getting ready to roll out of the Super 8. Thank God. One more night here. How about our neighbor's uh, sheets in the, in the hallway? They had a party last night, I think. I'm not going to ever stay here again. In fact, we're going to upgrade. We're going to go to like the Hampton or the Holiday Inn one of these days. I'm not saying. Just saying. I picked some pretty bad motels. After after someone advised you not to stay here? Correct. <laughs> so we're going to try to get on some fish today. We were throwing the chatter bait around. Reaction baits weren't working for us. Apparently they shocked a couple of the marinas yesterday trying to get snakeheads out of the system, the DNR. Maybe that has something to do with our, our poor fishing. It probably has a lot to do with it. It does. Um, but we did find some fish on beds, which is pretty exciting, but they won't bite. And I'm pretty good, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Well, they're gonna learn today. Yes, they are. Okay, we're getting in the zone. I don't fish up in DC area too much, but we're gonna give a little area a try this morning. Do something a little different. I'm not sure how to run this area. I think we gotta go slow through here. Uh, that's never a good thing to follow your buddy. No comment. So we got a little idle, idle today. 17 this morning. Miles. 17 miles? <laughs> I don't know. So I was following a boat into, the, into an area and he shut down. So I had to swerve, go around in a sketchy spot and that was behind me. I made it through somehow and he didn't. So now we have a little bit of idle time. Hopefully we can find him a lower unit here today. guys can see it this is the uh, night before the big derby big crank Jimmy is locking down his boat shit what's happening there's no light bud it's all right we're gonna go have a little dinner where are we eating? right there right yeah Carabas yeah what's the report man come on I'm stuck like you bro you're stuck like me let's give a shout out to Matt yeah man Matt I didn't even get to see you on the trip buddy sorry man Sorry about what happened with your boat too, kid. That sucks, man. I've been there. He was following me. First mistake. I can't believe I made it through there. Man. Okay. Let's... Sorry, Matt. I hope, I hope you get it fixed quick. You got buddy. a GoPro mount on here? Nah. Okay, hold on. No idea how you even made it through there. I've been, I was fortunate. Do you have a DC license? Yes. Very good. It's 650 for a 14 day license. That's it? Wow. I was up in that zone. Yeah. We're struggling. Uh, there was no footage. I did find a few fish this afternoon. Just saying. Were you drinking already? I had a beer. I smell it. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do something totally. What? I'm running to a different area Where? tomorrow. Where? Up near Belmont Bay. For real? For real. And hope for 15 pounds. And if I get a four, that gives me 16. If I get two fours, 17. We're going to be 15, 17. I'll be happy. Now, there's another thing that came into play. I'll be happy with a limit. That game time decision call. i got to lock my other side. Oh, there. yeah. I'll, uh, we'll talk in the morning. I'm going to have the cameras going during the tournament. 
Are you really? Yeah. yeah. Just one. You're a psycho. And we'll go from there. So we will talk to you guys tomorrow a.m. for the first BFL of the season. It's so right. nice out. Look at this. Good luck, buddy. Yes, Catch a bunch, true. man. See what happens. All right. Let's go eat. All right. It's bright and early. I'm just sitting alongside the road with a whole other line of boats trying to get into the park. Gates open in one minute. And I still don't know where I'm going. I don't even know what to say right now. Let's hope we have a good day. I put my time in. I know that much. But sometimes that don't mean shit. I'm just saying. All right, we're ready. Launch. We're with Eric. What's up, man? How you doing? We're going to catch him today, right? We're going to catch him. We're ready. We're ready. I don't know about that. All right, guys, I don't know if we're going to get footage today because of the rain. But uh, I'm going to put everything together from yesterday's practice and this tournament. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, midday. We're still struggling. Hopefully, we'll put something together here. I got some big plans. We'll see what happens. Yo, yo, we made it. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We did all right. You did real good, right? We did good. Caught a lot of fish. Let's look them. Let's look at them. Oh, -ho. look at yeah. that. What a most cool. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Nah, it was a struggle. <laughs> it was. It wasn't easy. You lost two giants. I did. I now did. you're using a very unorthodox approach as far as a three ounce weight in front of your work. <laughs> right? I was. I was. That was pretty unorthodox. I'm, I'm still learning. It worked. I learned something new today. It worked. Uh, 98. The net. So yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, we worked hard. I was uh, Carolina rigging most of the day, and you were basically Texas rigging. Texas rigging, Sanko with the weight on the front. And uh, it was an area I found the last day of practice at three o'clock, and I just had a feeling we kind of expanded on it. And we got them, so we're not gonna win. You might. Wow. We'll we're see. not. We'll I'm see. not. Uh, we'll see. I'm hoping at least a top 20. I think I have 16 pounds. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. You're gonna need. I needed 20 pounds here to win today, but I'm gonna take it. I mean, it was hard.
one. good it's it's 55 degrees out it was 80 yesterday and uh, of course I wear flip-flops all day I apologize for no footage I just didn't want to get the camera wet uh, throughout the day but I'll give you a quick rundown of what happened so I think there was like 150 boats or something like that uh, I really didn't have much going. You know, I had some random fish. I started out in Belmont. I didn't go to Piscataway and go into that stuff. I went to Belmont and just basically it sucked. I picked up a fish I called out later. Um, there was 25 boats in there. Everybody was throwing reaction baits. Uh, I'll get right back to you. Hey guys, so I want to give you a quick recap of the tournament. I ended up, uh, as 156 boats, or 100, 150 plus. Uh, I took 8th with just under 17 pounds. 20 and change won. Second place was 18 something, so I was one or two bigger bites away. I, I really only had three solid threes and then a nice four plus uh, to get my weight. And it really was a struggle throughout the day. For the first hour and a half, two hours, I was hating life. Um, you know, I was just in a group of boats, throwing reaction baits, doing a couple different things. Wasn't able to catch anything. And so I made a move. I went to the area that I found Friday at 3 o'clock p.m. And it took me a while to get a bite there. But once I did, and my co-angler started catching a few, I really started getting things dialed in and realized I had to move pretty slow. All the fish were spawning up in two to three feet of water, um, just right alongside a grass flat. And I started out a little deeper, and it wasn't the deal. And so I made a couple adjustments. I had to slow down. Two of the techniques that I used, uh, I'll share with you real quick. Uh, I was throwing a Carolina rig, a uh, fairly long leader, and uh, I was using a, uh, a Kitek a crazy flapper on the back of that in a green pumpkin watermelon type color. And I was using a half ounce weight and basically just dragging it through that grass. And that's what done what did most of the damage for me. Uh, another technique that I wish I had more time because I learned there was a few more areas uh, above where I was, about 200 yards stretch, that probably was where the big girls were living. I didn't find that out until late. I had to be in at 3.15. Right around 2 o'clock, I started uh, loading the boat on the chatterbait. So I was throwing that new Z-Man jackhammer. I found that this bait does run really true. You can burn it. You can kill it. Uh, I love the hook. It's super sharp. You know, it's, it was expensive uh, chatterbait. But... Man, I'm glad I had it. So I was just throwing the green pumpkin. I threw a green pumpkin 3.8 Kitek on the back. I bit off about a half inch of it and then put that on as a trailer and really did a lot of erratic motion uh, with the chatterbait. I was burning it, killing it, ripping it through the grass, and that seemed to be the key. There was a time I probably had four, five, six fish uh, in a short period of time towards the end of the day and that's when I got that four and a half pounder to bite, um, which really bumped me up and you know gave me that top 10 finish was that key bite. Uh, I probably would have cashed a check with, with what I had. Uh, you know, I just had a solid three, three and a quarter average uh, with those three 
uh, with those four fish. Um, didn't have a lemon until noon. My co-angler had three monsters. He lost two really good ones. Uh, they just got off outside in that range. They just they just came off. So I mean, there was a winning bag there, and I just wish I had more time to explore it. I if I could do it over again. I would have worked a larger stretch. I mean, I pretty much power pulled down and sat in a, a, a small area, you know, 50 to 100 yards and just worked it real slow. And that was the key. And then when you get a bite, especially on the uh, Carolina rig, I would have my trolling motor on high already and I would hit the pole button, double click, poles go up as soon as I feel a bite. And my trolling motor was heading over to that fish as I was fighting them. Because with that long leader and that weight, they would get buried in that grass. And I didn't want to take any chances. So I pretty much moved quickly when I got a bite to try and get to that fish uh, as soon as possible. But didn't lose any that, you know, I, I missed bites. But I did not lose a fish that I had hooked up. So, you know, it was a clean tournament. I just, I'm going to take it. Eighth place. Good Next good time. time. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments below, and we'll see you guys on the water.